Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, April 11th, 2014. This week, dragging an image to open or place it in Photoshop and Elements. It's easy to open an image in Photoshop and Elements by dragging it from your computer into the software. Knowing where to drop the image allows you to open a new tab or place the file into an open document. Locate the image on your computer. It may be in a folder or on your desktop or even on an external hard drive. Open the folder that contains the image and then open your software. Drag the top bar to the side so that you can see the folder or desktop that contains your image and the editing window at the same time. If you're having trouble with this you may need to use the restore down button to reduce the size of the window and then drag it over. If you don't have any documents open just click and drag the file onto the gray background of the editing window. The item will open in a new tab or new window. If you do have a document open, you're going to drag the item onto the gray background that surrounds the open window. This creates a new tab or window. If your document is in a tab like this one, you can drag the image onto the gray area to the right side of the existing tab and this opens the image in its own tab or its own window and then you can drag it up and dock it. In the full version of Photoshop you can use the place feature by dragging and dropping the file onto the open document. When you do this the image becomes a new layer in the document and you can use the check mark to confirm the placement. Using these same techniques you can even open multiple files at one time. Just select a number of images and drag them all into the software as a group. You can select images using one of these methods. You can control click or on a Mac system command click the images you want to open. Or you can drag a box around the images that you want to open or you can click the first, hold down the shift key and click the last in a line of images that you'd like to open. Once the images are selected you can just drag them into the software using the methods I showed you earlier. You'll need to check to confirm if you're placing them all into one document. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digital's tip.